Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, I hope we're all doing well. This is gonna be the first in a series of videos I will be sending out every other week to give you all just some additional art instruction and also kind of just uh, show you what we're working on and give you some other options for art because I think uh, you all are making some really incredible stuff, but it's always nice to kind of see things in person instead of just reading this written description. So um, this week what we're gonna be working on is this sort of a 3D cityscape-like thing. And I'm gonna explain kind of the materials and things that we need, and if you ever need to pause at any point in the video to gather those materials, feel free to. So I'm gonna give you just first an idea of what we're doing is we're gonna need some cardboard. That's sort of the base. Um, you're gonna want scissors, tape, any uh, pens, pencils, markers, things like that. Um, and if you don't have tape, you can also use a glue stick or any kind of glue, but I think tape is really going to help us on this one. So now if you need to pause and grab those materials, you're all good to go. Cardboard, paper, tape, uh, scissors, and markers. All right, so I'm assuming everybody has those materials now, and the first thing you're going to want to do is take some paper. I've got a little fold in it so it can actually wrap around my box and I'm gonna tape it to the bottom. You can also make a loop out of tape, um, and that can be a great way to get it to stick higher up. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my tape, and I'm just gonna roll it back so that it's sticky on all sides. If you have double-sided tape, you don't need to do this. You can just lay the tape right down. And so what I did was I made almost just a little ring of tape, and I'm gonna stick that on my cardboard, and when I stick the paper on, it'll hold in that area. So if I do right here, I do another ring of tape right here, and I do maybe one more down here, or peel this back and tape it at the bottom, that would be totally fine too. Once you've got this paper covering your whole uh, piece of cardboard, then you're ready to start adding buildings and kind of putting those on. At the way end is when you're gonna wanna start to add these details like roads and blocks and stuff like that. Right now, I would just worry on getting your paper on your board and constructing your buildings. Right now, you're gonna wanna pause the video and get the paper on the board. All right, I love to see that everybody's boards are now covered with paper. So. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start making our buildings. But these buildings that we're gonna make don't need to be a full sheet of paper because a full sheet of paper is gonna be really floppy and wobbly. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to half our piece of paper and we are going to half our piece of paper again. So we're gonna split our piece of paper into four pieces of the same size, into fourths. So we've got our paper into fourths. You can pause if you're not ready to move on yet. Once your paper is in fourths, you are going to cut each fourth into its own little box so you've got smaller squares just like this. Does that make sense? Cool, cool. And if you ever have any questions at any point, I know that I won't be able to answer them over this video, but send me an email and I'm happy to reach out or send you some uh, clarifications. So once you've got these, you can pause if you need to. Once you've got these little pieces of paper, the next steps are really important. I'm gonna show us how to make two different kinds of buildings. I'm gonna show us how to make a tall, skinny building, and I'm gonna show us how to make sort of a shorter, wider building. So tall and skinny, shorter, wider, and then you can kind of manipulate those shapes however you would like to after. So the first thing I'm gonna show us is the tall, skinny building. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna take your paper, we've got hot dog, we've got hamburger. You wanna be in your mini hamburger or portrait. And you're gonna fold down the top, just like about an, you know, just about the thickness of my thumb is what I did, maybe a little bit more, cause you all might have smaller thumbs but I just fold down a little bit on the top. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paper and almost like how we do letters, if you've ever folded a piece of paper to go inside of an envelope, you sort of fold one half to the middle and the other half over, and then you're gonna get three folds of about the same size. So if you watch really closely, I'm gonna fold one half over, and this is a little tricky. You might need to ask for your parents' help on this part. 
one part over and one part back. So what we've done is we've almost created like a burrito and then just smushed it flat. Burrito smushed flat. So I'm gonna show that one more time. We fold it down that first flap and then we fold over just a little fold back and then smush it flat. Once you do that, you've got this piece of paper with almost like six little sections. One, two, three, three big sections. One, two, three, three small sections. The, you can pause now if you're not quite here yet with the six sections and you might need to replay that last part one or two times. Once you've got this, you're gonna look at your little sections and you're gonna use your scissors to separate the little sections. So now I've got cuts in between the little sections and I'm gonna turn the paper around so the folds are away from me so you can all see this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just take these bottom flaps and fold them all together. So what that did, I'm gonna show one more time, is I just put them the outside ones below the inside one, it doesn't really matter which one's on top, and then I've connected them to create this rectangular-like building. Now I'm gonna take my tape and I'm gonna attach those pieces together. All right, looking at the bottom, little tape. I'm using blue tape so everyone can see what I'm doing, but you'll probably wanna use a clear tape so no one can see what you're doing. All right, so I've got my blue tape holding that together. Now some people might want a building with a roof on the top. So if you wanna do a roof on the top, it's actually the same process we're gonna make that other thing, you know, with the, uh, we're gonna make that other piece of paper with the three flaps, um, or the six flaps and the three, th six panels, three flaps now. You're gonna do the same thing and you're gonna now fold the top down as well. So you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. So now you've got these additional mini flaps. I'm also gonna cut those. And by doing that, I've not only created a shorter building, it's a little bit smaller than my other one, but it also has a roof. So roof and bottom. So if you wanna do a building with a roof, that can be a great addition, but you do not need to. If you notice, both of these buildings are hollow on the back, just like the buildings that I have right here. So they're totally hollow on the back, but that's okay because we're only looking from the front. Now a really important detail that I might have kind of gone over is when we tape this, we might want to do it at the end. I kind of taped mine a little early, so I'm going to peel my tape back off. But what you're going to want to do is before you tape this and before it's all 3D, it's a good idea to color it while it's flat. So you could add brick patterns, you could add wood patterns, you could make it look like concrete or cement, you could add graffiti, you could make it look like a furry fuzzy building, or you could make it look like a space building. You could add whatever kind of details and texture you would like. Once you've created a couple of these building shapes and you've began to color and add texture to them, that is when you can start to tape them down. So if you notice this building right here, I only used one piece of tape in the front. So it's really floppy. I think I need a second piece of tape to hold that there. Some of these other buildings I use a little more tape so they're a little more stable. But we could add doors, bricks, wood, more doors. I made a little staircase by doing an accordion fold. An accordion fold is when you take a rectangle of paper and you fold it one way and then you fold it back on itself the other way and then back on itself and then back on itself and so you've almost got this sort of like a staircase starting to form if you've ever made like a fan out of paper it's that same idea of back and forth back and forth folding the paper once you've created, I would say maybe three, four, five buildings, although you don't need to stop yourself there, you can start to, like I was saying, tape them onto your uh, cardboard or your paper covered cardboard on the bottom. And then it's a matter of adding 
details that we see on the street. So like dotted lines in the middle of the street, you can add curbs, you could add mailboxes, you could add lawns, you could add doors, you could add pretty much anything you can think of. This is an optional project, so this is sort of something you can do whenever you'd like. You can add a bunch of things, you can add just a few, or you can choose not to do it. That's totally up to you. But what I want to do is I want to kind of give you these opportunities to make some fun, new, and interesting things. I would challenge you, once you've finished putting things together on your cardboard city, to maybe consider adding wire, adding beads, paper clips, pipe cleaners, toothpicks, anything you can think of to make your 3D city pop even more. But that pretty much wraps up my little instruction for this week, just showing us a fun way to make buildings, a fun way to add details to those buildings. Um, well, I'm going to kind of let you add the details on your own, but really just a fun way to make buildings and put them down on the board so that we kind of have this uh, 3D project that we can work from. I think that we've been doing a lot of flat two-dimensional uh, things over the break, so I feel like it's a really great opportunity for us to try and make something that doesn't just sit on a piece of paper but actually lifts up and kind of comes out into the world. I would love to see photographs of these cities. If you do make them and you want to send them to me, that would be awesome. If you decide to do anything fun with them, like make a play or film a movie within your city, let me know. I want to see all this awesome stuff that you're working on. And if you're any, making any other art, I would love to see that too. I hope you all are doing awesome. Let me know if you have any questions about what's going on. And like I said, please keep me updated with all the things you're working on. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you later.